In an industry full of unsung professionals, it is perhaps the publicist who is rarely heard from, so far as the public knows, and yet speaks so loudly for a production and its filmmakers. And few publicists in show business history have had such a resounding voice as that of Marvin Levy. To talk with Marvin one-on-one, -on -one, which thank God I've had the experience of because he's saved me and made me somehow represent myself or my film well, thank God. Um, he is a gentle and reserved man who also has ideas, extraordinary stories, and the sharpest sense of humor sparking out of him at a rapid pace. To know of Marvin's work, especially on the films of Stevens, as we've seen, is to recognize a voice that has shouted around the world about the movie magic in store for audiences once a new Steven Spielberg film has opened. Marvin has worked with Steven, as you saw, since 1977 on Close Encounters, and he's been a deeply respected visionary for decades, setting the tone and talk for films that would capture the public imagination and heart. From E.T., the Back to the Future trilogy, Lincoln and Schindler's List, and a beloved franchise I'm particularly fond of, the worlds of Jurassic Park. These, okay, yes, let's take a moment, everybody. <laughs> These films and so many more, as you saw from Gigi and Ben-Hur to They Shoot Horses, Don't They, to American Beauty, The Gladiator, most recently with The Post, he helped make these must-see events. Yet even the greatest of filmmakers can create works that, as we know, fail to find their audiences, if not for the publicists that serve as the ones to say to the world, hey, look over here. We've got something extraordinarily special that you'll not want to miss. And that is what Marvin has done for so long, not only as a means to a truly laudable career, but as a personal mission. In his always humble fashion, Marvin underplays a very complex job by stating, it's all about the eyeballs. It's about getting people to see a film, whether it's in seats in a theater or watching sitting on a sofa at home. Film after film, year after year, decade after decade, Marvin Levy has done his job, and beyond measure, in getting eyes on screens and viewers in seats for films big and small, He's been an integral and unflappable part of bringing the dreams of creative visionaries into the lives of generations of movie lovers. He is also the best person to go through a hurricane with. <laughs> but don't get any ideas, but I have had that experience. Um, it is my sincere honor to pay tribute to a man, uh, to stand here tonight with all of you and along with Carol, his extraordinary partner, who after defining his craft for so many years and helping us all find movies that would change our lives and inspire us, I have the privilege of honoring someone who still loves to go into work every day with zero plan of ever retiring. Marvin, a heartfelt thank you from the Academy for all you have done in your life for cinema. I would now like to invite you to get up here and get your Academy Award, your Oscar, congratulations. <laughs>